everybody. My hair is looking slightly terrifying and I'm looking slightly ugly. But it doesn't matter because today is all about mac and cheese. And we don't... Yeah. Today I'm making my famous recipe. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Seriously? That is recipe. not your recipe. You butcher it every time you do it. Do you want to starve for dinner, Charlotte? Yes. Um, it's actually not my recipe. Yeah. Mum found it on Pinterest and then I started doing it. Anyway, before, you know, I back- I searching for them like you do. Mate. Shut up. See, now I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, I don't give a crap. Overcome your problems, guys. I gotta- Get- Oh! Anyways, okay, can you stop talking now? No! <laughs> I can't believe you gave birth to her mum. Yeah. Uh, anywho. In the kitchen, love. <laughs> so today I'm going to be making macaroni and cheese. This is like my family's favorite recipe. I don't know who made this recipe because I literally just know it off the top of my head because I'm so talented. I'm such a talented cook. I'll link whatever the recipe is down below. I think it's a thermomix recipe, but I don't use it in the thermomix because real chefs... Uh -huh. real, <laughs> real chefs it tastes so do the hard yakka to get the good stuff. Anyway, mm. I'm talking too much. So, today I'm making mac- how many times have I said today I'm making mac and cheese? Today I'm making mac and cheese. I posted photos and videos of this mac and cheese recipe quite a few times and you guys asked me how to make it mm. quite a few times. So today I decided to give the people what they want. So, ew, that was lame. <laughs> Should I edit that out? Shut up, just you'll decide when you're editing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you did! So today I finally decided just to do a nice chill video and make mac and cheese. I was gonna try and make vegan mac and cheese, but I did a vote in the family and they were all like, ew, don't. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm talking and nothing is happening, so <laughs> let's just start the video. Um, oh, I forgot how to make it. Okay, this is super simple, guys. Um, doesn't take a genius to make this, so you guys will be fine. So basically, you just need palms and cheese, obviously. You need normal cheese. This one kind of just tastes like plastic, but it's all right. Then we need milk and butter and flour and pasta. That's literally it, guys. It's simple as that. Plain flour, butter. I usually would use unsalted butter. Um, but we don't have any, so thanks, mom. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So there is a recipe, and there are measurements for this, but I just like to play it, just play it by ear. Um, but you guys probably can't do that yet. I'm just. Oh. <laughs> I know my way around the kitchen, so obviously I can just eyeball it. But it's somewhere like parmesan cheese. Sixty. Sixty. Okay, thanks, because I was going to get that wrong. 60 grams of parmesan cheese and 120 grams of <sighs> tasty natural block. <laughs> You've also got to wash your hands, but I'm not going to wash my hands just because I'm kidding. I got a tattoo today, guys. My first tattoo ever. All right, so first you're just going to grate up your cheese. I'm just going to eyeball it like I said before because I feel like I've made it enough times where I know kind of self-explanatory so and this parmesan's already grated so it makes my life easier that's for sure oh my god that cheese looks so bad why it's literally just <laughs> <cheese>. <laughs> um probably don't open it like that but i just can't find any scissors so you just breathed in my direction no i didn't no i didn't that's probably your own breath, like, going back into your face. Alright, so this is definitely <laughs> somewhere in the area of 60 grams. I'm not entirely certain about this. Mate, um, I have no idea. Yeah, looks, a looks about right. Alright, so now I think we've got enough cheese, I think. So I'm going to put the water on, on a boil now. I should have done that before I started oh. grating the cheese. Um, but it's alright because there are no mistakes in the kitchen. 
I want to just spend a bit more time efficient to start boiling it before, but... Okay, dude, all this talking, I bet I don't care. <laughs> Alright, water's on a boil, and... Ooh, you need, like, 500 grams of your pasta of choice. Usually we do elbow pasta, but today we've got curls. Um, 500 grams. I think it's supposed to use 400, but I just use 500 because bama, bama. more pasta, you know? So what we're going to do now is we're going to get one third of a cup of flour. This is one quarter cup, but we're just going to use that instead. I don't think you need, I genuinely don't remember. I know I came into this really like, I don't need a recipe, but I feel like maybe I do. This is bad. I'm going to be real. It's not going to be bad, dude. I love to cook. I'm a great cook. Um, and then we need some butter, five, fi what, 50 grams, which we're just going to eyeball again since we're so good at that. Okay, so the water's just about boiling, so I'm just going to put in the pasta. I don't even know if you can see me. Ew, I just touched something wet in the bin. Um, so the recipe says you need like 500 grams of milk, um, but I feel like grams is a really weird way to measure liquid so I just do 500 mils which is basically the same thing so you just just want to do that with the milk I think that's too much so just gonna pour that back in yeah beautiful beautiful let's give the pasta a little bit of a mix there's nothing worse than clumpy pasta am I right and while that's cooking away I'm just gonna bring you over here a little bit and we're gonna get started on the sauce. This is the most crucial part of really any do. lasagna or why am I talking? <laughs> um why am I talking? <laughs> it's a very tedious task and it requires a lot of skill, which we've already talked about, I obviously have. So how you start, I'm probably not even gonna talk because I yeah. So you wanna first put in the butter. And just get that cooking. I'm gonna pretend I know what 50 grams of butter looks like. And then just put that on a low heat. You don't want to put it on a massive, massive heat because um, you just don't. This is a very time crunchy task and you don't want to ruin it. Charlotte, can you do me a favor? I don't know if you can hear me. Please, the butter's almost melted. I need ah! I need you to hold the camera while I make the bechamel sauce. Oh! Honestly, I have so much to do. You honestly, it's distracting me. Where am I holding it? All right. So once the butter's kind of melted, you just want to put in all the flour. Honestly, I think I, I think I've ruined it already. Jesse, used... no, Charlotte, it's fine. No, it's not. You've ruined my dinner. This isn't a joke. Yes, it is. I'm not kidding. It's, it has to be good, Jesse. It's going to be good, Charlotte. It has to be good. Dude, just <laughs> calm down, yeah? No, it's going to be fine. You just don't want lumps. Put less flour in than I did, guys. I knew you, you were going to stuff it up with the butter. I knew it. Um, okay, you don't need that much. <laughs> Close up. Back up. <laughs> okay, as soon as it starts clumping together, you want to put in more milk. Just gradually. Um, so that it doesn't clump together and it stays a nice... Smooth consistency. Can you <laughs> not? Meanwhile, pop, pop. This looks like sloppy porridge. Yeah, it's gonna be so bad, Jesse. Charlotte, I'm multitasking here, so just cut me some slack, please. Oh my god, I don't want to eat this. <laughs> yes, this is what it always looks like. Okay, it's not about the journey; it's about the finished product. Dude, back the frick up. This is where she's working. This is my workspace. I could have used a whisk. I think a whisk would have worked better. And See, it's looking slightly better. Sauce. It's just a process, guys. All right, don't don't get yourself too down about it because <laughs> cooking's all about fun. All right, if you're not having fun, you're doing. It's it also wrong. about my dinner, is it not? How about you make your own freaking dinner, Charlotte? Stop I want dinner. Mum would have made it for me if you didn't. See, that's coming together nice. That looks like a freaking cupcake better. Yeah. Delicious. It's not, is it? It's meant to be bechamel sauce. Dude, you 
pissing me off. Okay, thanks guys. Good job. Just all right. She gave up. Wow, these angles. This is a really chaotic time to be me. Okay, I'm just gonna add some cheese now. Um, I'm just gonna add it gradually and give it a little mix around because you just don't, you don't want the cheese to be in clumps. Ow, this is really hurting my arm. I've just drained the pasta. You're gonna pour it back in the bowl. And then we finished our lovely sauce. Um, and this is the best part. I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can. You pour the sauce in. No, up. bitch, shut up. Brody, please don't lick my foot. All right, and this is the best part. And then this is the time where you get to add your own spices, etc. Um, so obviously, salt. I don't add pepper. I get everybody to add their pepper on their own because I don't really like pepper. So I just add in salt. Give it a mix and then I also add a little bit of onion powder which everybody always gets mad at me when I add the onion Cassie, powder. Mom. What? Stop adding things. Yeah see nobody respects me in this house. I slave away in the kitchen Sorry. cooking meals for them and nobody nobody appreciates my cooking. So I add a little bit of garlic powder. This adds a, you don't want too much because. Don't add too much. Stop please. Charlotte. And then mix that in. Ew, that stinks. All right, come and get some. With Brody. All right, and dinner's served. This is perfect for just a night in. Piss off. This dinner is perfect for just a night in with girls, night in with boys, night in with just everybody um, watching TV. Uh, watching TV shows by yourself. It's nicely paired with some Pinot Grigio. Charlotte! <laughs> just kidding. I actually don't know what wine it's best served with. I literally just drink like $7 wine. So just whatever you can get your hands on. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Um, all right, thanks for watching. If you guys try out this recipe, which I highly recommend you do, because it's Did so you good, share it with you? let me know. I'll leave it in the description box. Um, I'll you know also you like me better than Jesse. I'll also leave in the description box the vegan macaroni and cheese that I was gonna try because that looked really <laughs> good. And yeah. Alright. Bye. They're not positive. Well, I don't think you realize my feelings towards not caring. And you don't